It's really burning, y'all. We're about to go to our first movie since quarantine. Oh my gosh, it's been dirty back there. I told you, don't show them. What's up, Ken? Are you being good today? Who's being good today, Stephanie? Oh, not a damn No. Nope. Yeah, so we're gonna go see the new Fast and Furious movie. I have not been to the movies since, literally since all of 2020. Cause I don't think I saw a movie before quarantine. And then, but I used to go every Tuesday. But then, I don't know, we stopped and then now, yeah. So we're gonna head to the movie. And there's another new place that I'm about to look up that we could've did today. I just saw it on the news. So I'm about to look that up and try to, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Target to get the kids some bathing suits so we don't have to go all the way back to their hotel and they're gonna swim at my pool for a little bit because it's been hot is I don't know what of course in Vegas but we're gonna take them them to swim for a little bit while it's still light outside <laughs> bye King how was the movie tell them do they should they go see that movie yeah I can. really you liked it yeah who was one of the person's name in the movie and John Cena. John, T John Cena. They watch wrestling, so they knew exactly who John Cena was when they saw him. Ooh. Okay, what does that taste like? They got cake pops because Kinsey somehow cut her foot in the store and they yeah. didn't want that, um, they didn't want a lawsuit, so they gave them cook pops. <laughs> they gave them cake pops. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's Sunday and I'm home now. I am about to go out to brunch with my sister and her kids before I come home and have to pack to leave again because y'all, I'm not staying in this. And the reason why it's still out here because on Tuesday they come and clean up but I knew I was gonna be gone so that's kind of why I planned it that way. And everything will go back in its original place on um, Saturday morning. So I get back like Friday night and then the next morning is when um, everything will go back to normal. But it's kind of good because I probably won't have time to get things a little bit more in order um, before I leave. So when I come back Friday, that's what I'm gonna have to be doing, you know, that night before, you know, just making sure everything is in the right place, everything's good, the floors are clean and all that stuff. Make sure you watch my staycation vlog and you can see everything that I did. And if you're looking into staying at the Virgin Hotel in Las Vegas, you can see kind of what's there and everything like that. So yeah, but I'm gonna head out. I'll probably be vlogging from my phone. I just curled the ends of my braids. I think it looks really cute. They're getting a little fuzzy, but you know, I still like them. I'm trying to debate if I want to get my hair braided again right when I take this out. Because I'm probably going to take this out when I get home. That will make it um, like two and a half weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Because I just like having my hair braided. I just like getting up and my hair's done. One other thing I was going to say. Um, oh, so on the walkthrough my place i did find a couple things that they're gonna have to come back and fix i think i'm gonna wait until everything's back to normal before i even tell them to come by because right now it's just still too crazy i want it to be a little bit more back to normal and you guys can come back and um cover you know what's needed to be covered um luckily the places that need to be fixed there's really nothing around it so they don't need like my bed out or anything it's just kind of in some corners like i noticed like some little dripping that they need to fix and like um i don't like to see paint marks so yeah we're at the win and i don't know you can't make reservations so you just have to walk in and hope that there's a seat for you
time for my flight. I'm just getting some last minute things to put in my bag. Woo. I literally just woke up from a nap and packed all right now because I was so tired. I just had more plans to get stuff done before I left, but you know how that goes, especially because I've been gone. I've been gone all week and everything because of my place and my place still looks crazy but that's why I'm gonna leave again. So when I get back, hopefully it's back to normal. Ooh, almost fell. So when I get back, it'll be back to normal and I'll get to show you guys. But right now, I need to hurry up so I can get out of here for this flight. This isn't going to be like a travel vlog or anything, but I'll share some of this stuff. Ooh, wait, let me leave this open. So the people who clean my floors come tomorrow, today's Monday, they're coming on Tuesday obviously but <laughs> that's tomorrow but yeah so they come tomorrow and they clean my floors while i'm gone um in my bedroom and everything oh i just love my tv oh sorry a little tmi but <laughs> so yeah they're gonna be cleaning the floors. so when i get back i'll be able to lay my rug down and everything um but yeah living room still looks so crazy but what are you gonna do you know when you're getting stuff done that's what happens. Thank you. 
running late for my first time back at the gym. I'm about to take a spin class. I'm so very excited and I really wanted to sit and talk about it before I left, but I don't have any time. I do not have any time. So I'll talk to you about the class when I get back because I don't know if I'll be this excited when I get back because y'all know I ain't been to the gym since surgery and yeah, but I'm excited. good i thought i was gonna be like really really tired and everything after the class but of course i had some energy um i just went and got a smoothie and then i came back home to get well i didn't really get dressed but oh. as you can see my hair i just put a um deep conditioner in it and i'm just gonna leave it under my hat for the day i am on my way to get a pedicure it's literally in one minute but it's right on the corner that's bad that things are close because i think i could leave at the last minute and then sometimes i'm like a little bit late but i probably won't be that late it's already 111 degrees and it's 10 59 it's so hot yeah i did good i mean i'll probably feel it tomorrow obviously especially with cycle you know when you first get back your butt like hurts from the bike and you know just starting to work out all over again um is hard but i wasn't eating too bad like i ha i would have like towards like lately i was getting kind of tired of just eating so i wasn't eating super clean but i wasn't eating as much as i would if i was working out and that's because you guys know i wasn't able to go to the gym yet so what i would do is like eat a little less than usual because or else i would have been i would have gained so much weight but yeah so um, plus it just makes me really oh shit sorry y'all so yeah we'll get back into the routine of things but I'm about to get my pedicure right now yes no one's coming dang it oh wait damn 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 it damn it damn it it's always a hard turn over here because like they have it to where you can't make a u-turn but then you can't turn into the plaza where I'm going. So I have to ride going the wrong way to get to where I'm going. Please y'all move, 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 move. I did it. That's why I said two to three minutes because that burn, I can't take that. Oh, it's really burning, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Whoo. It burns where you did extractions. So if you guys pop the pimple or something somewhere, it's gonna burn. I don't want to scare you, but it's hot, y'all. Like, I'm not even playing. It feels like my face is, like, in a heater. That's what it feels like. Oh, you guys, here goes the plant that, um, it's kind of messy in here, you guys. Because, um, so tomorrow morning, I have the painters who painted my place coming back because I did find a few little things, even though I liked everything, but I found some areas that they need to fix. And um, so they're coming back tomorrow to do that. And I kind of just left everything on my counter because I kind of want things still out of their way. I still haven't really, you know, put everything back yet because also I got my bathtub painted, as you guys saw. And... Um, yeah so everything's kind of pushed out the way but i do like this plant i think i want it like a little bit hot 
higher. I know that seems kind of crazy, almost hitting the ceiling. Let me show you my other plant that I put in my bedroom. You guys are gonna get a little sneak peek of my room. It's coming together, y'all. It's coming together. Look at that. Look at that. that. Doesn't that look like you're at a hotel? Like, that's how I like my bedroom to feel. Like, I love to be at hotels. Like, you know, just clean and I just want to feel like I'm at a hotel. Yeah, so I got my new rug down and it's kind of the same type of rug that I had. It's not... The type of rug that I had was like that sheep rug. And y'all know, I don't know if you guys know, but those like shed, I have allergies. So it's basically like having a dog cause it just sheds. I don't know how I had that for that many years and I bought, rebought it, but it was just perfect. I don't know why I didn't ever go with this rug from Z Gallery. Um, and this was on sale. I got it for like, I wanna say like $300 cheaper. I don't know, you guys gotta look up for those sales though because I got it on sale and I was really happy about it because of course, like who wants to pay full price for this stuff? So yeah, I got this rug and um, yeah, it's just shorter and I like that it comes like further like back. So walking through my bedroom, I don't like step on it um, because like my other rug came out here and it was just like no space to really just walk and it was getting dirty. I'm not even gonna explain everything cause I will do like, I've been saying this for like a long time, but I'll do like a full tour to where I sh tell you where I got everything. Cause I remember where I got everything. I don't think I'm gonna have, I mean, I don't think, I know I'm not gonna have any links, especially um, this lighting is weird, but this is the light right here. And a lot of the stuff I bought a long time ago and I'm just putting it like these lamps that are on my dressers. I bought those a year ago at um, Home Goods. I got them at Home Goods, so you probably won't be able to find these again. But then again, you might. That's why I bought them because you never find two of the same lamps. So when I found them, I was just like, I'm, I, have, I haven't even started doing my room yet. I was just like, these two match. I'm taking them because I knew how I wanted it to look in here. And it looks exactly, <sighs> you guys, I just get so excited when things come out exactly how I pictured it in my mind or better. Cause it does look better. The mirrors, I didn't, at first I wasn't sure to do them that high, but because I did them that high, it makes my room look so tall and it's not. Like I have a pretty small room, like it's a regular size room. It's just that my bed is huge. So, but now like with these mirrors, when I walk it, it just looks like big and then the paint just brightened it up and it just looks different and i told you guys i've had the same bed since i lived here i've lived here like five years and i've had the same bed but the changes that i made it's like a completely different room even with the same bed and i'm not done with it i got this big old tree <laughs> it's i mean it was supposed to be a plant but um i mean it is a plant but I didn't know it was going to be that tall, but I actually kind of like it. I got a vase to go with it as well. Is my face turning red or anything, y'all? Cause I should probably wash this off. But anyways, let me talk fast. Um, yeah, the vase is kind of small. I'm not, you know, I would think that it should maybe come like up here, but I really like the vase. So um, for right now, that's just what it's gonna be because that's what I bought, so. Oh my gosh, it's like lightning right now, y'all. It's crazy. And then this is the picture that um, my one of my friends did for me. And that's going to go up on the wall. Um, I'll like go into more detail about it when I really, you know, show you guys and, you know, link her name. You guys saw her in um, the Santa Monica vlog, Erica. She's the one who did this picture for me and it looks so good. I'm still debating if I want to put something in between those. Let me know in the comments if you guys think something should go in between that. Or does it look like, is it going to be like too much? Like every space on the wall covered? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Like seriously and i got my new mattress you guys and i'm gonna have to show you guys that when i once i get into bed because i love it it's like having a freaking oh and the tv the the tv is off right now so the guy i think i told you guys during the unboxing this is what he has to come back to fix because i do not like 
to see any cord and that's just not gonna work but anyways this is my tv it's off so it's one of those picture frame ones so see it has the i got the white frame because I just thought it would look better in my room with the white frame and then how I'm gonna you know have everything down here it just goes so um it's that big old black tv that I had that was super old it was like one of my first tvs that I bought when I lived in Atlanta years ago nothing wrong with it but I just wanted a new one so yeah um I love that love that I'll get more into that um when I, you know, talk about everything in depth. But that's a sneak peek of my room, y'all. And I'm just loving being in here. I really have to get myself out of bed because I just like being, I already liked being in my room. But now with this mattress, I be leaning up like I'm in the hospital or something. Like, why would I say that? I'm gonna show y'all after I wash this off my face. Hold on. Available from Robert Greene, The Art of Seduction. All right, so I'm back and as you can see, wait, let me explain who is that talking. So today I have been doing so much just in my house though, um, because it is freaking, feels like hell outside, like no joke. But anyways, so I've been, um, so like I put my bed and stuff together, like I changed all this stuff, was washing everything and um washing all my clothes because i'm gonna go out of town again um on friday and just getting everything back in order and like i said the painters are coming so i wanted to move everything out of the way and all of that but um yeah so today i don't know have you guys ever read or listened to the 48 laws of power it's nine hours 45 minutes and 39 seconds you guys so i literally just finished that right now and that's the only thing that i've been listening to today um i only really got on my phone to post a picture on my vegas vegan page and then i talked to my sister a couple times but like i let her know i was like I um i'm about to hang up because um i'm listening to my story right now but i've been wanting to read that book so long and i actually started the um art of seduction and i never finished it's a hard book to read because it's just like so many like columns and words and it's just a lot so i think i'm gonna listen to the art of seduction too and i'm just gonna try to start where i left off i probably should start over because that was a while ago like that's a hard book to read like it's just a lot of words you know what i mean like not like i can't read like i'll read a book but those books are like bibles probably more words than bibles but um yeah so yeah i didn't listen nine hours straight but pretty much though um i even watched the game and had it on mute listening to this because after i got so far i was like i might as well finish it but then at first i was kind of like dude am i even retaining any of this but i do like if you ask me about it i there's like some main points that i do remember and um i mean i liked it there's some things that i don't know if i agree with it just sounds really really Kind of like shady but if you guys read the book or you know heard about it um yeah so i'm glad i got through a book like i feel like i read it i'm about to do this on when i got time well i'm not gonna have time this week i got a lot going on but maybe like on sundays make that a sunday thing like get through a book and just while i'm cleaning and i cooked two meals today to um you know i took pictures and i um what is it i meal prep the rest of it so um yeah so i made like a new meal cleaned up got some stuff in order and i still have a lot of stuff to do so when i get time i guess i'm gonna do that but because i it's hard for me to read i mean not read it's hard for me to listen to i know some people like to listen to books when they're like working out or stuff and stuff like that I wouldn't be able to do that because I need music to work out like I just wouldn't even be able to pay attention and then also like in the car when I'm in the car I want to hear my music I literally just woke up I woke up probably at like nine o'clock and then um and what time is it now it's 11 11 yeah I just played it off of my phone so I could put it 
up to my speaker because I wanted it to be like loud when I'm walking back and forth to my room and out in the living room you know I just wanted to be able to hear it so that's literally what I was listening to all day and I finally finished so I could check it off of my books to read list why am I taking this off <laughs> on camera y'all let me show you my bed really quick because obviously I'm about to go to bed. Okay, so here's the remote. This is like a real ass old lady bed, y'all, but I don't care because I like it and it, it is comfy. So um, this right here, I forgot how to say it. it. It's like Xerog. That's what it says. This like gets the bed right into the um, best sleep position for you, but I press that and then I like my back up a little bit. But like for right now, like I'm about to watch um, Real Housewives of Potomac. So I'm gonna press this and you can hear that, I mean. So see, it doesn't come up that much cause that's getting ready for bed. And then the feet start to come up. The feet are coming up right now. As you can see. Okay. So that's how the feet are. So it kind of looks weird because like I would be laying flat with your feet up, but they say that's like the best way to sleep. Um, I'm trying to get to that, but I feel I like it because it's supposed to like be good for the curve of your body, especially for like me or anyone else who has like a big butt like your back is never touching the mattress. So it hurts and you have like lower back um, pain like I do. But um, so this like sits, you know, so my body is my butt is like down and then my head is like elevated. And I don't know why the feet are elevated. Well, I guess, you know, so it goes with the curve. But yeah, so right now I'm about to watch TV. So We are. <laughs> I feel like, did my grandma have one of these? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Wait, did my pillow fall? No. We good. Like, my bed is made and <laughs> it is comfy okay see now i could just like chill watch my show and then boom we back down no, i was playing but for real <laughs> oh, <y 'all. laughs> this is like grown people things you know y'all i am tired already it's only 10 a.m exactly i went to the gym today for the first time you know, um, by myself because I did cycling on Saturday. Today is Monday. I think I'm going to go to cycling two times a um, week. And then the other days I'll just go to the gym by myself. But it was my first day back and I did legs today. Obviously, I didn't do everything I usually do. I have to ease back into it. So, okay. Let me tell you guys about my idea. You know how I've been saying like it is crazy hot, like dangerously hot outside, like it really is. And it's 10 a.m. right now and it's already like scorching. So I'm not gonna be out like too long. I'm gonna give him some time, but I gotta come back home because it's hot. And um, so I got the idea to um, like make care packages. Um, I don't know, I was watching the news the other day and they put up like, um, a place like to take them but I don't remember what it was so I just ended up googling a place and I called them and asked them if it was okay and you know because some places they take certain things but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try um, not I'm gonna try I'm going to make a hundred of um, these care packages and I came up with putting um, sunscreen because I heard on the news when I was watching that thing I don't know why I didn't save the name but that they said that people donate a lot and they never donate um or they forget to donate sunscreen so i was like you know that makes sense because it's literally like one fifteen and above so like you know they're outside <laughs> Got 
everything that I needed, everything that we put on our list. I just have to wait for the sunblock and the towels to come from Amazon because I had to get those in bulk and um, yeah, just in stores, those aren't easy to buy. But um, now that I think about it, now that I have everything that I wanted to make a hundred bags, I, f I just feel like I could have done more. Because first of all, now I know how much can fit in my car. I know what can fit in my car. So if I decide to do this again, like, you know, I know it could fit my car. So I do have everything to make a hundred of those bags, like in my car right now. So I just feel like, I don't know. I'm just gonna start here. I don't know, it was just an idea that I wanted to do. And then we'll see um, what happens, oops, what happens next. And then I told you I'm also gonna do this in my um, hometown right now, but I'm really trying to get this done this week because I leave out of town and it's just the, um, it's just been so hot so I just want to you know start there and um, you know see how that goes and then you know try it again all right y'all so I'm back home um, the painting still going on y'all I'm very I'm very annoyed with the situation because I had everything moved out the way. I was out of town, so I didn't have to smell paint. Although it doesn't smell like paint in here, honestly, because it's just little places. But when I came back, there was like a crack right there and they fixed it, but they half ass fixed it. So, did I have stuff in my teeth? Oh, no, I got something in my mouth though. You guys, I just came from eating and it was a new restaurant I went to, drove almost 30 minutes to go to, but it was so good. I'll be posting it on my vegan page, of course. He just left because he had to find a different product. The person who is um, doing the touch-ups and like the repairs of stuff that I didn't like, um, he wasn't here painting. Like I know who he is though, because he painted like my closets, some other stuff, I know who he is. I know like almost all the people cause they've been painting throughout my condo for a while now and done work here so um yeah he said that they they used a different product that they um that just is not holding to fix the crack or whatever so yeah so he left right now to go um get some stuff to handle that i just got home with all the groceries to put together those bags um yeah it's like a hundred, putting a hundred together by myself, it seems like a lot of work. But then at the same time, once I'm done, I'm like, I feel like, I still feel like I could have done more. But this is my first time, like I was saying. So I just wanna see how it is and how it comes together and you know, how the people are um, who I'm working with to drop this off and get it out to people who need it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see how that is. And I'm still waiting on the Amazon stuff, which is the main things, the sunblock and the cooling towel. My camera's about to die. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. So basically that's what I'm gonna be doing while he's finishing this up. It shouldn't take too much longer. It's already two o'clock, he got here at eight. So I got this mask on in my house because my face looks a little crazy um you'll see why in the next vlog after this because i'm going to end this one but i just wanted to show you guys um exactly what i put in my care package bags because i'm finishing them right now this is what i put in them and if you guys have any ideas on what to put inside bags if you've done it before or you just kind of know like what you think they would need, just let me know in the comments because um, I can do that next time or, you know, we could just um, figure some things out because like I said, um, this is my first time putting something together. So I hope I got stuff that, you know, that's gonna be helpful. So what I put in was of course water. And then I got these little um, sunblocks because I saw on the news, they said that, um, People give a lot, but one of the things that they forget to give is sunblock because it's like so hot outside. And I guess people just think like water and you know, so um, I found these on Amazon and this was probably, um, everything else was pretty, you know, low price, like the snacks, water, you can get that anywhere. But the cooling towels and the um, sunblock were a little bit more pricier. And of course, because it's like, and this is SPS, SPF 45 so that's pretty good um 
this is this is good for a couple uses but i was thinking especially like for the face um my sister didn't even um well she wasn't able to get these because i'm gonna do this again in california and i had her get the stuff and i guess i took all of them because i told you i was making um a lot of bags so i ended up taking all the rest so she ended up getting like a different brand and she doesn't like the brand because she feels like she wanted to give them a little bit more so um we we'll have to find like a better place to get like more supplies to be able to do more bags at one time but this was really last minute it was just something i just thought of and um yeah so i pretty much just got what I could or what I thought they needed. So she was able to get like the cooling towels and everything else. Sorry, I got this mask on. Y'all probably like, what does her face look like? But I promise you'll see in the next vlog. I'm going to finish these bags right now and then finish packing. And then I'm going to go out of town tomorrow. So I'll be starting a new vlog. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one.